It is the ultimate thank you for World War II heroes deploying to Washington, D.C. for the day to see the memorials built in their honor, all at no cost to them. Our Lauren Springer traveled with Talons Out on her flight. She's live in studio tonight sharing their mission. Lauren. Well, Andy, mission accomplished. More than 100 veterans are back from the Capitol, many seeing the memorials built just for them for the very first time. This trip, just a small way to honor the members of the greatest generation. A lifetime of memories carried in the hearts and heads of these men. Hail today for the heroes they are. Deploying to Washington, D.C. on a whirlwind tour, their last. This tour, a tour of honor. Thank you for your service. More than 100 West Michigan veterans, most from World War II, sharing their stories with each other, alongside friends, family, even strangers. You don't talk about much, you know. All eager to soak it in, some wanting to show off for living history on Armed Forces Day. Their faces wrinkled with laughter, telling tales of fearless teens sent overseas. I remember <laughs> the guy that had, had, had a bunk above me, he had a monkey, fat monkey, and I tried to get some sleep and that monkey wouldn't let me sleep. I had to take the monkey in a bed with me just like a little kid. <laughs> it was that much fun for me to be in the Army. Three or four of us had a little bit too much snops one night. And we decided to go across the river to the castle. The day celebratory, but also one for remembering. This ceremony that you are about to witness is the changing of the guard. A friend of mine got killed saving my life. And that's kind of tough to, to handle. I get tear up a little bit, but uh, the sacrifices that these other guys have made are just fantastic. And thank God we've got men like that in our country. Tombstones, rows of tiny ghosts, ghosts of fallen brothers that never made it home. Well, this reminds us of why we did it. While this man grieves, the one right beside him is grateful. Grateful for the sacrifice made for his family, for his father. When he came back from Korea, I've got a picture of me in his arms when I was just a two-year-old. Thank you very much. Thank you. Great to have you. It's an honor. Smiles turned somber, passing through the Pacific Arch, taking in a monument made just for them. I never considered myself a hero. I mean, most fellows were 20, 21 years old and young, and they never came home. Each stop, something special to someone here, everyone remembering men left behind. We had a bad storm and our ship broke up in seven places on the deck and they had an SOS. They dropped off in that deep water and half of them drowned before they even got to shore. My unit now is at 138 men and the unit now is at 18. All right, it was all gone. The day ends with the ultimate thank you. Thousands lining the way for a homecoming these men never had. One seventy years overdue. Thank you, sir. Went back to my home in Fort Wayne, and uh, very normal. I didn't, I didn't do anything really. The smiles, all that's needed to express what sharing a lifetime of memories means to them. I look at these guys, and I think, aren't we all lucky just to be here? And we're losing these World War II heroes so quickly at the rate of about 100 a day. These flights are a way to keep their stories alive by passing them on to others before they're lost. As you can imagine, so many stories on this flight. We are taking a closer look at the story of an Army general, which we'll share with you Friday evening. Live in studio tonight, Lauren Springer, News Channel 3. Lauren, thank you very much. Today you can support future honor flights with a stop at Culver's Restaurant. Participating restaurants will donate 10% of today's sales to Talons Out. There are more than 160 Culver's locations in nine states taking part in the fundraiser.